Welcome to our final episode of Retro Gear Time. Dan, we have another camcorder here. Tell me how this one is different from the ones we've looked at over the past few weeks. Well, this one is probably the oldest. We're talking probably 1986 or 87. So it's a little older than me. Could be, yes. But in that era, this was the high-end, state-of-the-art VHS home movie camera. And there's a story behind it, like everything else that's stored in my basement. The reason I can't throw it away is because there's a story behind it. Certainly in the uh, mid 80s when I was a kid, we would shoot home movies and we had a ton of fun. Me and my brothers making home movies and doing all this uh, movie making with VHS. And my parents took our VHS camera, which they felt was there since they bought it. They took it on a vacation and it fell off of the cruise ship into the uh. water. And it might have been one of those things where you go out on the raft to ride out on the jet skis and my dad decided to take the VHS camera onto the little boat or something like that. Anyway, the homeowner's insurance policy they had at the time agreed to replace the camera. So in 1986, the Mosier family got this incredible camera. It had, and still does have, if we could turn it on, I don't think it would even turn on now, but it had a character generator with an amazing blocky font, but you could make a title right over your home movie. So you could have You had to a, do that at the time of recording though? Or oh you, yeah, okay. you could not go back and edit that onto the tape. You did have to do that at the time of the recording. And another feature it had was this audio video dub right here, where you could take a, a tape deck or even a CD player, and in 88, 89, we got CD players, right? So I could run audio into it and take the video we had made and run audio underneath or with the video dub, you could lay down an audio track and then actually edit video onto it from another video source. You could okay. use this as a video editor. This is kind of your all-in-one movie making machine. Record, amazing. edit, do everything you Just need. Just amazing. And it even had the, the macro feature. So if you wanted to make a picture video, you could just take your old pictures and put it in front and go into macro mode. And you could literally just focus in on the picture right in front of the camera. Nice. Oh yeah, this was absolutely phenomenal. I kind of wish it still fired up and I, I have the battery. I would have no idea how to charge this or even <laughs> if this is even legal to have. But uh, if, if we could fire it up, I'm sure it would just be amazing. Yeah, I bet. Thanks for watching Retro Gear Time. We'll be back next week with some technology that's maybe a little more relevant. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>